Hello and welcome to the Rank Advertiser podcast where we inspire, enlighten, and empower every single listener today. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Rank Advertiser podcast where we inspire, enlighten, and empower every single listener today. Today, I do have a special guest for us. Uh, it's uh, Arvin. Uh, he's an NFT expert, and he has always been on the forefront of uh, the tech trend. From biohacking to internet marketing, Arvin knows where to invest his time. So when the NFT wave came along, it was a natural fit for him to jump in early on because uh, of his early interest in the market. Arvin is one of the few established thought leaders with the NFT space. He has consulted with 200 plus NFT brands and has partnered with Reddit, Twitter, and Quora. His two largest NFT projects, St. Vegas Casinos Club and Meta Legend, both sold out. The same project made 70 million in 20 hours, and the mega project made an astonishing $12 million in 20 hours and even received celebrity attention. Oven is excited to help lead the conversation around NFT and is Hi, Sada After Guess is soon to be featured in USA Today, Forbes, and Business Insider. Arvin, welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you, you for having me. me. It's so it's so good to have you today. I'm very blessed to to have you here. Thank you for your time and uh, welcome to the Rank Advertiser Podcast. So good awesome to be here. Without, without further ado, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, your thoughts on, uh, on, on, on NFT for the people who are listening right now. They're like, you know, uh, what is this NFT thing? Yeah, I mean, NFTs are a hot topic right now. Obviously, everyone's talking about them. And actually, funny enough, um, like I'm in Canada, I know you're in the U.S. U.S. and Canada is far behind uh, compared to all the other countries out there, you know, countries like China. Uh, United Arab Emirates, Australia. These are the forefronts of um, NFTs, um, and I think I think uh, you know you see people from you know even like teenagers they're getting into NFTs, they're making millions of dollars. It's a very exciting topic. Um, I'm just glad to be someone who gets to see a lot of brands uh, that are you know they're just getting into the NFTs and then also selling out in a very short amount of time, making a lot of money. Um, and also just uh, bringing a lot of value to artists as well. Yes. And how did you how did you figure out that NFT would be uh, such a big thing to uh, ride this wave? You know, uh, how did you? What was some of the indicator that made you realize like this NFT thing is going to be big? Okay, no one asked me this question before, but a um, bunch of times I've uh, in my life I've come to see opportunities that. Um, I wanted to jump on, but I, you know, never, never actually jumped on it. So like one, for example, was years ago, I think it was actually, so I think Bitcoin was, um, uh, I mean, the, the, the origin of, the, I guess the time that it came out was somewhere around 2009, but in 2016, I believe, um, I, um, I had a friend, really good friend of mine, Nick, and, um, every time we would go to bars or restaurants and we just chilling, we're having a good time. I could see like this guy just pulls out his phone and just like checking these numbers and like these like cool apps. And I had no idea what he was doing. But then fast forward, um, you know, three years later, I think um, I call him one day and I'm like, hey, so at that point I moved out of uh, L.A. I used to live in L.A. And then I call him one day and I'm like, hey, man, like what's going on? How's work? And he's like, what work? And I'm like, what do you mean? And it's like. He's like, well, he's just traveling right now. He's already retired. And this guy was, uh, you know, in his 20s, right? So um, it's just such an exciting thing, right? So um, at that point, I remember he kept telling me about it, but I never, I just was like, okay, I'm going to focus on what I'm doing at that point, which was internet marketing. Um, 
And uh, it was just so cool, like to see, you know, someone just went from uh, doing a nine to five job to just like traveling the world. Um, and so, so that was, I think, my initial introduction to the, um, to the crypto and NFT world. Um, and then about a year and a half uh, ago, my sister and I, we were, uh, or maybe about two years ago, um, we actually were looking into just like news and then just learn about NFTs for the first time. And then there was like a, a cafe that opened up here in Vancouver that they would literally like at the end of your, like you would have your tea or coffee, whatever. At the end of that, they would, um, it would turn, like you would draw something and then they would turn that into NFTs. Um, and then, and I was like, this is the coolest thing. We should, we should get into this. So that's, that was the origin of that. Now, um, I didn't know like how popular it's going to get, but, um, I could see there were some indicators, like, for example, um, I could see like, um, you know, we call them whales are getting into it. Right. So there's like, yeah, so exactly. So you can see like, you can see, okay, so there are some cool people that are getting into it early on. And I was like, okay, there's got to be something into this. Just like right now I see, for example, on Sandbox, so if you're not, the one knows what Sandbox is, basically it's just like a virtual land. I see like Atari, all these big companies, they have places in there, right? It's just an indication that, okay, they know something. Like otherwise they wouldn't spend so much money and just buying lands in there, right? Um, so yeah, that was my introduction to 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 NFTs like about two years ago. About two years ago, that's amazing. And before yeah. before that, were you? Because uh, one of the things to think about about crypto that's kind of amazing. We go from uh, Bitcoin to uh, to Ethereum and all other uh, uh, cryptocurrency, Cardano, and then yeah. you have this uh, DeFi ecosystem that just came along, and then now NFT. Were you kind of uh, uh, around uh, each one of them and navigated toward uh, NFT, or were you also in the in the in the, the side of like, oh, what is a wallet? How do I put this together? How do I get this NFT? Was it <laughs> honestly, it's kind of funny. So, um, I I uh, like initially my my sister was kind of like my portfolio manager. So I would I would have her basically research things and then I, I would execute. Um, but uh. Like, you know, I, like, I didn't even, like, I remember the time where I was just like, okay, I, people keep talking about a wallet. What on earth is a wallet? Like, what are you doing with that? Like, what's the meta mask, right? Like, um, the, I think it's also really funny, like, uh, and the trend, like, I guess the, the evolution of that, like, I got, um, a few days ago, I was on a call with, uh, some NFT brand and I was telling them about ETH. Um, and then, and they were like, what is ETH? And I was like, that's Ethereum. So, like, <laughs> So like uh, I think it's just you know we we've uh, we have now our close circles of like people who are just talking about things you know the huddle the uh, the ETH and like certain things that like only us know actually what it means at this point it's just becoming very nerdy um, but also but also like uh, it's really like I guess it's a good point to make here too uh, it's really important to know what you're doing too like I mean um, it, it's you know like. For example, uh, about a few days ago, I, I uh, this is actually on my um, on my handle. If anyone goes like Arvin K NFT um, on Twitter, I posted a video about this. I lost about 100k uh, worth of NFTs um, just because I googled this random. So I googled this website. I was about to buy land. I'm not gonna name which one, but then um, and. Uh, this website, the fake website, showed up higher than the actual website. I connected my wallet and just like poof, like the whole like hundred k was gone. Um, now that was one of my wallets, so I'm okay. But like, um, it's just like also as much as it's like so accessible, it's like so cool, but it's also like kind of scary in a way if you don't know what you're doing, right? And even if you do know what you're doing, it's still like you know it happens, like things like that. It's you can quickly earn a lot of money. You can also quickly like lose it. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And and for someone who's uh, listening to this and uh, they're uh, into business or they want to kind of understand how to uh, enter the NFT uh, market, yeah. what are some of the advice you give to them? Because you are an expert in this area and you've worked with brands. And um, and and what are some of the things you tell them in uh, in this podcast? 
Yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Um, so I think if someone wants to get into NFTs, probably best thing is um, go look up on um, on Twitter for uh, brands that are giving away NFTs. Um, and then so you can get essentially you can participate in their discussions or like um, in their uh, challenges, whatever that is to get like your first NFT if you don't want to like invest and you don't know like what it's like or maybe you just like so new to this, right? Or just find some like cheap NFT and just like get your first one in. Um, and now the things you want to look for if you're if you're going to buy an NFT and this is very relevant for someone who wants to sell an NFT too because that just you have to know what it takes for an investor to buy to be able to know how to market yourself so people buy it from you. Um, so first thing is, okay, like, um, and by no means this is the priority is, okay, do you like the art, right? So the NFT art, um, it has to be aesthetically pleasing, but like, it's not always the case. There's some out there on top of the chart um, on OpenSea or Magic Eden. And by the way, for those people who don't know OpenSea and Magic Eden, these are platforms where um, NFTs are hosted on. Um, so OpenSea would be for Ethereum uh, related. Um, NFTs and um, Magic Eden would be for uh, Sol, like Solana. Now, um, so just go like browse, just see what kind of art you like. Um, and then, um, I, so this is what I would do if I were them. I would just YouTube how to, how to get a Phantom wallet, how to get a MetaMask wallet, or how to use it, right? So you just open it up, um, get one. And then in fact, in my, in my, so the reason I lost 100K was because I didn't, and in the video that I have on my handle, again, Arvin K NFT on Twitter, I do tell like what to do so that doesn't happen to you. Um, I didn't have a physical wallet. So I would say anyone who's getting into this, don't do what I did, which was thinking, first of all, you're above getting hacked. And then second of all, like it's not that much money. Like you're not like that big of an investor yet. You're not a whale yet. So there's no reason like you should get a like a physical wallet and like you could just keep all your basic monies and uh, NFTs on a hot wallet online. Um, so you definitely get a cold wallet, a physical device where you hold your crypto and NFTs and then have one that's just like, it's a hot wallet, it's connected to the internet and you are buying NFTs or selling NFTs with it. Right. So, so that's what I would do. Like I'll look at the art, I look, and then I, I would join their discord. So discord is just like telegram or WhatsApp, but it's for like NFT people. Um, and then I would, I would look over the Twitter handle, um, and then see like, okay, what are they posting? What are they about? Um, who are they following? Uh, who is following them? Um, and then on their discord, I would just see, um, if the engagement is good, like people are actually excited about their project. Um, I would see, you know, if they've got like a really good roadmap. So if you don't know what roadmaps are, basically it's just a, a it's a series of actions that the project is, NFT project is going to take after they have minted, meaning after uh, people buy uh, their NFTs. Um, and then, and then look at their roadmap, see if you like it, if there are any utilities that you're really excited about, like, are they going to give you um, money every month as a holder of their NFT? Are they going to send you like merch? Um, are, you, are, are they going to be like exclusive parties? And are you going to like meet like really cool uh, celebs or like, what's, what's that, right? So uh, what's with their roadmaps that you like? And then look over to see, okay, what is their marketing like? Are, do they know what they're doing or they're just kind of like, you know, throwing spaghetti like on the wall, right? So just see what happens. Um, and then, because that would also indicate if this project is going to be successful. And if it's not going to be successful, then it's going to be a rock pole. They're going to leave and then, you know, you basically lose money. Um, and so the other thing I would look for is like cultural reference. Like, does this project have any, like, is there any value to their art? that is relevant to what's happening in like pop culture, basically, right? So is there, thing, is there anything about like, so let's say um, the values for like, I don't know, like uh, what we care about right now? Like, is it like, well, um, I was just, uh, I was just gonna say global warming, but global warming is like exactly against, um, it's the opposite spectrum of like NFTs. But let's say, um, let's say for example, like, I don't know, let's say a lot of let's say people um, who like right now they have, um, 
challenges with like their health, right? Um, like is 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 there something to do with that? Like, do you have like NFT that has like it does like bring uh, any any indi- any like uh, I guess connection to that? Uh, what about like the role of males and females in the society? There are a bunch of projects up there in the open sea right now that they're just purely about that. Right. So those kind of stuff is really important. Of course, there's other things to look for too. Just like you just like the people, the team that's doing this, so on and so forth. But those are like some major things to look for before investing on an NFT project. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the, the extensive uh, uh, details around that. And yeah. uh, do you also work with, let's say someone is uh, a brand, because we've talked about in your intro that you also work with brand. And for some yeah. people who are listening here and who have companies and they're, they're, they're interested. So how does that work? Uh, how do you, how, how do you uh, work with brand to make that happen? For sure. Yeah, so I have, um, I have a bunch of different offerings. Of course, I have a course where it's a sold out NFTs.io. Like people can go and just check out like the modules and everything. And, and then also like I helped them along the way, actually going from like knowing nothing about launching NFT all the way to like getting sold out. Like I had like one person um, a few days ago, this guy sold out in six minutes. Um, and, and so it's, it's, that's one of my offerings. Also like sometimes for larger brands, I work with them like one-on-one. Um, I'm not going to say who, but some famous DJ um, that, I'm sure all your listeners would know about. Um, his uh, designer is doing an NFT. It's going to come out next month. Um, I'm personally going to uh, do their uh, do their marketing and bring that NFT to the world. So, but other than that, like I think biggest thing that I I help people with is really building their uh, Twitter and Discord, um, building that community that's engaged um, to a specific number. And then um, really all the way through, like until they sell out on their on their market. Yeah. And for NFT buyers, uh, because right now the market is uh, is a little bit uh, going uh, the crypto market, as you can see nowadays, like it's just like it went down a bit, and then it's, it's everyone is hoping for the ball to to, yeah. to to go up. And some people uh, on Instagram have been saying that now is a good time to get into NFT. So the question yeah. for investor now is like. What NFT should I buy? Should you go for the 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 the, the, the apps NFT or is there how do you find a good NFT to buy? Like literally, if you were an investor today and you yeah. were let's say you had you had like a a hundred k to invest on NFT, which what would be kind of your criteria in this market to fund a good NFT? Uh, yeah, to go with? honestly, one strategy is just follow people who are doing well, right? So. Um, it, like, for example, I just tell you guys, like, um, there was one uh, NFT brand called uh, Alien Friend. Um, I bought it for 500 bucks. I sold it for 10K about two weeks later. Um, and so, like, if you find someone who knows, like, what they're doing, they just, like, continuously just, like, flip and they do really well. Or if, even if they're holding on to things that are really valuable, I think if you just look at their stuff, um, you can see, like, I actually talked about Alien Friend twice um, on my on my um, uh, handles, again, it's Arvin K NFT. And I told people, I, I said, literally, I said, like, go buy it because it's gonna go up. And it did go up and I sold it at like 10 times more. Uh, I guess some people did and some people didn't, but um, so I think that's one thing. Um, just looking at like, okay, um, what other people who are getting results, like what are they doing? That's one thing. The other thing is just like I said, like if you, if you just look, um, even if you're an NFT brand and you want to give away NFTs to your community to just like build your community, build your Twitter, like this is a really good time to just buy a lot of NFTs. Like all NFTs are so cheap right now. Um, like just be bullish. Go like buy everything. You know what I mean? Um, and then, and then because because there's never going to be a time like this, I don't think ever again. And I, I think so. I predict. I predict and let's see if this becomes true. Like for yes. someone who consider it. <laughs> I predict in six months of time, um, all these like large companies, um, they're gonna roll out something, um, a something to do with NFTs. Um, and the reason I know that is just because I have um, connections to a lot of these like ad platforms, um, like hire up people, and I can see their ads that already they they have, right? So they're already preparing for things like this. And then I can see like this big company, not to be named. 
like they have already ads on some platform again no don't want to make it like identify them but like some platform ads for and it's a really big company but they're they're just basically telling people about nfts they're trying to like educate people because later on they're going to bring out their nfts right um well like company like atari they're just buying a lot of land on sandbox right I think NFTs, like the art stuff is really cool, but the other side of things is just like DeFi and just buying land. I love buying land. Like I bought a ton of land, though it got all drained like a few days ago, but like I'm gonna buy again. Um, I got, I bought a lot of land on Sandbox where I think it was at three ETH when I bought it. Um, and at the time, like I think last time I looked, it was like 3.5. So, I mean, um, 0.5 ETH, uh, you know, just, increase in like a week that's like what bank can you do that with you know what i mean like yeah exactly like it's like 0.01 percent for a year yeah exactly and then and then also like i mean at the same time i know it's like you know we we're uh, um we're, we we don't find like maybe banks like that favorably but like also I, it's funny like when that 100k um like loss i had from from my wallet I was actually, I called my sister. I was like, you know, we're talking shit about like banks, but you know, banks, that doesn't happen to banks. So um, <laughs> there's, there's that too, of course, like you got to be careful, but there's just so much opportunity. I think a lot of people are just going to be rich. Um, a lot of people, just because it's so accessible, right? So the, the money is just so accessible. A lot of people are going to just make that jump That's and uh, increase their like income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, uh, as as an expert in this, uh, this 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 area, and you're seeing uh, you're seeing the market grow. My question for you is: five years from now, ten years from now, where do you see the market uh, of of, a, of an NFT? Uh, if you have a number, feel free to try it. And uh, yes, I want to I want to see your vision around there. What, what what is how do you see it five years? Yeah, from now? yeah. I guess to to back up from that question for a sec. Um, some people are thinking like, oh, NFT is going to go away. NFT is not going anywhere um, because think about all these large companies that they bought like, like millions of like NFTs and land already, right? They're not stupid. Like they're not just going in and buying for no reason. They're not just like risking. Like large companies to that scale, they don't risk on a larger scale. You know, they, they take calculated risks. So, and, and even if, if something happens to it, they have to do something before you do. So um, it's, you're still gonna be protected. So for that reason, first of all, NFT is not going anywhere. Um, now, okay, so where is it going? Like, I think it's gonna be part of like your everyday life um, where like, any, like for example, I watched um, a shopping experience in the virtual land um, at Walmart the other day. Um, and to be honest, as much as it's like, I love, and, I love this stuff and I'm helping brands grow. It's kind of uh, speaking now, uh, you know, like the people, people getting so, um, you know, like, I guess, uh, so into this virtual thing versus like in-person real experiences that has them just, I think in years time, has them just like stay at home and go nowhere. You know what I mean? Like for dating, for like Tinder is, um, is actually like rolling out their NFT experience. Like, uh, uh, like let's say for um, like uh, Walmart did that, and let's say I, I've I've, uh, I've seen actually a lot of weddings in the virtual land. Um, people stay at their basement, put their um, you know the uh, some uh, what is it called the I forget the name of the device you put on your uh, on your eyes to be able to do it. the virtual the virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. And then like, and they, they do their wedding like virtually, right? So I think five years down the line, like almost everything is going to be, um, is going to be somewhat related, connected to NFTs. There's no, at this point, there's no way back. Um, and I think, uh, like the coronavirus also accelerated just us getting digital, uh, to a very large scale. Um, and so, so I think if anything, um, all these NFTs that you're buying right now, and down the line, it's just gonna the value is just gonna go up because these NFTs later on are gonna go into like museums um, for people to look at uh, the the cryptos that you have. Um, you're gonna be the like basically you're gonna be your own bank. Um, so your money, your the value of your money is gonna go up. 
Um, and then all companies are bound to just to compete with each other, bound to have NFTs roll out too. So um, yeah, so I think it's just, I think the wealth uh, distribution is going to change in the next five years, if not sooner. Honestly, I think a day in, in the NFT world is like 10 years. Um, it's so it's going so quickly, right? So and and yeah. and for yeah. the, the the people who are listening to us, we we're, we're sharing about NFT and who haven't uh, heard about it yet, they haven't jumped on it yet, and or who are very cynical about about crypto. What would you tell yeah. them about 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 about, about this I mean, and what it means? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean they can be cynical, but like NFT is just gonna crush it. Like you know they're gonna go up and like people gonna get rich and you know what I mean. Like and I mean um, I don't I don't I wouldn't say like um, buy crypto to get rich or anything, but um, I I definitely see like a lot of people have invested heavily um, on like majority of their portfolio into like crypto and NFTs, and it kind of makes sense because and especially now. The other thing I think people are not thinking about is, so some people who are afraid about crypto, mm -hmm. they should think about how NFT is just going to be so uh, prevalent. And if NFT is prevalent, NFT holds crypto inside it. It's just like a Trojan horse that like has all these cryptos inside it, right? So like, so if, if, if NFTs are going to stay, then crypto is definitely not going anywhere because inside all these NFTs, that's literally the value of the NFTs is inside it. It's um, tokens crypted, right? So um, you have you have those like whatever it is, if, if it's Ethereum, if it's um, if it's like so those are the major ones right now. I mean, there's other ones like Polygon and uh, so on and so forth. But yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, it does make sense. Yes, yeah. we're we're running uh, closer to our 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 time here. I want to ask you a quick quick question and cool. to kind of pick up your your mind on on it. Um, uh -huh. How do you how do you see the metaverse? Uh, do you like it or like the metaverse? Yeah, so I uh, I think I I get really excited about um, you know the the concept of um, digitalization. I mean, of course, I would be like I'm biased in that sense, but um, at the same time, I love, like, I love people. I love the old experiences. I actually think, like, I think, I, I tell my buddies, I'm like, this, the movies, the songs, the, um, like, a lot of things in the, like, like, 50, 60 years ago were a lot better. I think we kind of, like, everything is just a little bit watered down. So that scares me in a way, because uh, I think Metaverse is going to be, like, 10 times worse as far as just being able to produce content that's not like high quality um but but other than that i just love the the aspect of the metaphor where like, you can now own land and um if you weren't able to let's say like have a like a physical land now you can just like have that in your portfolio i like the, the i think i like the investing side of things in metaverse uh, the implications of that for for now, I'm just ignoring it, so I'm not really thinking about too much. Okay, and and uh, my last question would be: um, as uh, as as an as an investor, and if you were to pick a blue chip in terms of uh, metaverse, because now uh, there is a lot of article, a lot of firm going and investing or raising fund to invest in the metaverse. It's gonna be big, next big thing in, in the crypto space. Um, yeah, because there will be a lot of NFT selling in, in the metaverse as well, and event. So there is Facebook throwing up uh, its uh, metaverse version, and there is yeah. uh, uh, a lot of other uh, uh, project that's on the metaverse, like Sandbox. Uh, so between between those different metaverses, there uh, the one that you like better, or do you you do you think of it like every there will be a lot of big winner in it. But if you were to to pick three winners. Well, who who would they be in your uh, perspective? Yeah. So there, like, if you go on OpenSea and if you go like just look for lands, um, there's there's plenty of projects. I actually um, I dug deep into just see who like owns a lot of land. There's this guy. Um, he like about three years ago, he bought fifty lands in Sandbox. Back then, I think it was worth like. Maybe each each lamb would maybe like five hundred bucks or something. Now each one is at least three ETH, which is like although ETH um, at the time people listening to this may be very different, but like you know, let's say if it was like three K, um, that's like nine K, right? So 
five hundred bucks to nine k, and if you had fifty of them uh, in two years down, you know, two years time, like I mean, that's like an amazing investment. So that's to say, I like Sandbox. I see a lot of companies in there. Uh, it just makes me feel safe. Um, go grab like a uh, a land right next to some uh, famous person or a company that's just legit. Um, and you would know, like, you know, uh, they're, they're going to have uh, foot traffic in there. They're going to have people wanting to have experiences in their in their vicinity. So your land is going to go up. Just that's just simple. Right. Um, the other one is Decentraland. That one is also uh, so that's the OG of the lands in the virtual world. So obviously have uh, have have land in there as well. Um, and then one just recently came came out is called Metroverse. Um, I don't know much about Metroverse right now. Um, I'm actually researching it myself right now. But it's good, like, if you think about, like, some of them, um, you know, they, if you're going to hold, like, find one that you really see, like, okay, their team is good, and then they uh, they have, like, really pla uh, good plans that is very elaborate, meaning, like, they figure things out, and they also have, like, a plan on actually executing things. I would go and just, like, mint it, like, I'd be, like, an early investor on those. Um, what are you going to lose, right? So, like, um, I think if you think about, like, I heard someone yesterday, like, talking in one of my Discord servers. It was like, oh, um, this guy, he just, like, sold his car, um, like, downgraded his car, and then now it's just invested in, like, NFTs. And I'm like, that's actually super smart. Like, car is like a liability, right? Versus the NFT is just going to go up. So, yeah, so those would be my three choices. I think they're very safe choices. Again, not, not a financial advice by any means, but... To me, that's the things feels that way at least. Yeah, that is that is that is perfect. And yeah. uh, as as we are getting toward that closer to that uh, end of our podcast, I also wanted to make sure uh, to let our listener know uh, to go to uh, sold out NFT .io to check out Irvin uh, website, and there is a lot of amazing content in there for those of you who are listening or want to get into the NFT game or want to partner up with him or if you're a brand and you're thinking about uh, getting into the NFT and you don't know how to do it, this is the man is right here in front of us in the show. So go ahead and uh, find him at soldoutnft.io. And I would like to give you also an opportunity to uh, share with uh, the listener some of your last thoughts and, and how they can get in touch with you as well. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I would say uh, best place to find me um, is on Twitter. Um, so at Arvin K N F T. So spelled as A R V as in Victor I N um, K. That's so that's how my last name starts, and then N F T. So Arvin K N F T on actually all platforms, but on Twitter I'm most responsive. Um, and then also the website is sold out NFTs it has an S at the end dot I O. Um, and um, if you guys wanted to check out uh, my course as well, of course, just all that NFTs, you can see all the information about it. But you always DM me. Um, I'm happy to chat always um, about NFTs and your brand, whether you want to do investing or um, you want to launch your own NFTs. I'll be. Um, and then also, like, I think for, for your listeners, by the way, um, I, do have, um, I do have a video that I created that's just like basically showing people. It's this strategy. Uh, it's like a mini video. It shows a strategy, just a core strategy on how to uh, market your NFT. So if anyone wanted to do that, just uh, basically send me a DM on um, on um, Twitter. Um, just let me know which show uh, you came from, um, and I will happily just send that video your way. It's just a marketing uh, video on how to launch your NFT. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Elvin, thank you so much. And uh, for those of you who are in here, uh, this is us, us saying goodbye and thank you for listening. And we look forward to seeing you all in the next time. And welcome and welcome and welcome and welcome. Thank you very much, Elvin. And I look forward to seeing you all soon.
Okay, Arvin, are you there? <laughs> yes, that was fun. This was an amazing, amazing, amazing show. <laughs> that was really fun. Uh, by the way, our uh, uh, okay, there you go. Let me do that.